This is Tiff. And I'm Drake. And you're watching Tiff, Tiff and Dre TV. TV. something really special we are going to make homemade chili powder now I usually make this once a year I'm able to get a big old batch of hot chilies uh, arbol chilies and some wahio chilies these are more mild medium and then we got the hot so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make some chili powder we're gonna, we're gonna chat with you guys get you caught up as to what we're doing. And uh, so let's mix some of the hot in the big pot here. And Tiffany, what do you got there? The medium? Those are, uh, yeah, those are medium. Those are medium? Yeah. Okay. Put some of the hot over there. Okay, you want me to dump these in here? Yeah, dump those in here. The medium in here. All right. So if you haven't made your own, your homemade chili powder, you are missing out. Mm. I'm telling you, once you make your chili powder from scratch, homemade chili powder, you're not going to want to buy chili powder anymore. Um, so I'm going to mix these together. Okay. This is the medium and the hot. Now, in addition to the chili powder, we're going to put everything in the jars. Right. Um, and then what we're gonna do is, after we break up the chilies, mm -hmm. stuff them all in the jars and everything, I'm gonna put them in a food processor. Okay. Then I'm gonna turn them into flakes, okay. right? Then I'm gonna take it out, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it in my Vitamix, ah. and then I'm gonna turn it into powder. Okay. Now, you can actually, uh, let's start doing it. Um, I'm gonna I'm I'm watch you first. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna break this up mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the stems, just break the stems, Throw those away. Okay. Uh, if you don't like the, the uh, seeds, if you think the seeds are too hot, knock the seeds out. I like keeping the seeds in here. I don't see anything wrong with the seeds. And in addition to making uh, chili powder, I'm actually going to ferment some of these dry chilies. You are. Yep, we're going to stuff these in the jar. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to pour a saltwater brine solution. We're going to do a lacto, uh, lactose bacillus. Uh, ferment, okay. a lacto ferment uh -huh. on these, and I'm gonna ferment these for about three months. Okay. Then I'm gonna do another video when they're ready, and we're gonna turn that into like a Mexican style uh, uh, chili hot sauce. Okay. Mexican style hot sauce. So we got so hot, you, we got mild. So I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. So you're you're gonna put this on hold for three months after preparing it. Is there any time that you check? On the, on the ferment? Yeah, on the on ferment. fermentation. Yeah, we yeah. want to look at the fermentation. We How want, often? We want to make sure, uh, we look at it a couple of, once a week. Make okay. sure that uh, all of the peppers are below the water level in the brine, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So, how does this ferment go? Well, we're going to fill this up with dry chilies, right? Step one, fill this up with dry chilies. We're going to take the weight of this, we're going to fill it up with water. Dry chilies, water, and the weight of this jar, we're gonna we're gonna first of all let me back up. We're gonna take the the weight of the jar yes. and zero it out on yes. the scale. That's right. Then we're gonna get the weight of the chilies and fill this up with water. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna take that weight, multiply it by three percent, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna get the amount of salt that I need to mix in that water. Okay. Pour off the water, mm -hmm. stir in the salt, mm -hmm. mix it up really good. Pour it back in the jar. Put the lid on it, and then we want to have like one of those airlock lids so that as the fermentation takes place, it's going to release a gas and what it's going to burn. It's actually called airlock lid. Yeah, it's a it's a form of an airlock lid. Yeah, you can do that or like the type that the brewers use. They got the little swirly and they got the water in it uh -huh. and things like that. It's just an airlock. It's allowing the gas to release. If you don't have anything to let the gas release, you can just go down and. Turn the turn the uh, lid on the on the jar maybe once a week a little bit and burp burp it. Okay. All right. So it's going to be about two weeks 
of fermentation, mm -hmm. right? Good two weeks, this thing is gonna get active and so forth, and um, it's gonna get all bubbly in there, the water's gonna change colors and everything like that. Right. Um, and then I would say in about three to four weeks, um, it's gonna settle out. And then it's gonna, the flavors are gonna start melding together. Mm -hmm. And so fermentation is gonna give us flavors uh, that are not even present. It's gonna give us some probiotics, some nutrients. Mm -hmm. uh, fermentation is, is, is awesome. I mean, people have been doing and fermenting vegetables and, and things for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. uh, and I tell you, that's one of the skills that I picked up uh, last year mm -hmm. uh, during all these stressful times mm -hmm. is uh, learning how to ferment. Right. So, but, so we got two things going. Mm -hmm. We're gonna blend this up, mm -hmm. turn this into chili powder. Mm -hmm. Now, that's just the chilies, okay? Yeah. Just the chilies. Mm -hmm. All right, let me have a sip, remember? Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Take a sip. You gotta take a, you gotta take a sip. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you drinking tonight? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. A little Budweiser here. Yeah. Cheers, baby. Cheers. 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 Okay. So, uh, this is a lot of fun. You can get the kids involved in here. Just make sure that they have gloves on. Mm, so and they, they don't, don't touch their face. They don't touch their face and get mm. the peppers in there. Right. Start crying and everything. Mm. 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 Yeah, I don't like to play this game anymore. I don't want to play this anymore. So I like to do a chili powder mm. with just the chilies. Okay. You can do a blend. Okay, mm. and the blend comes when you add, let's say, oh, onion powder, mm -hmm. garlic powder, oh, and you can make salt. chili out of that. Right, so you can blend up your chili powder. Right. You can add anything you want to it. Mm. But what I like to do, because I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, mm -hmm. is I like to just make chili powder. Yeah, some hot, and mild chilies, for and you can use it for almost anything. Right, right. Mm -hmm. these are some pretty good chilies. Yeah. And I like the seeds and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, if if you think the seeds are a bit much, you know, like I said, you can you can knock some of the seeds out like that. You don't have to put all the seeds in. Uh, and this is some good stuff. If you like making tamales, I'm telling you, this is excellent in the tamales. I mean, with the seeds, you think it's going to be hotter? Uh, possibly. I, you know, I, I was reading that the heat is really not in the seeds. Really? It's in these membranes. It, it's in a lot of the uh, capsum, capsicum, uh, the heat is in these membranes. So, hey, yeah. if, if, if you guys know better than us on this, we're still learning, yeah. leave a comment below mm -hmm. and help our channel out by subscribing, giving us a like with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on any future content. So right. let's get the discussion going in the comment section below. Uh, where is the heat? in the chilies. Mm -hmm. Is it in the seeds? Mm -hmm. Is it in the membrane area? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's more in the membrane area, but we'll see what you have, what you how you, what, what you think about it. Wow. Let's talk about some things that we've been doing. Go right ahead. What's on your mind? I have a new grandbaby. Grandbaby, yeah, that's right. Yes, my grandbaby. February. She was born in February. Mm -hmm. And her name is Holland, mm, mm, mm. and she is such a sweetie. I enjoy her when she comes over, and I'm going to be enjoying her a lot more because she's going to be spending a lot more time with Grandma. Absolutely, mm -hmm. uh, she is such a doll, mm -hmm. and everything. Also, if you didn't know, we have a dog. Mm -hmm. That's our Sophie. other baby. Yep, she's getting big. She's uh, eight months now. Yeah, she's eight months. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, she's good though. We got a haircut. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's around here anymore. Uh, where did she go? Where is Sophia? I don't know. Yeah, she'll pop in. But she's somewhere she, laying down. She's a golden doodle, a, a black golden doodle. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's doing good. She's doing yeah. good. And, you know, she's jumpy, hyper, yeah. like most puppies are. Mm -hmm. But um, she's our dog. So, what's, so what else is on your mind? Let's see. Okay. Um, big relief. We got the vaccine. Yes. 
We got the vaccine. Yeah, we got the vaccine. First shot. We yeah. take the second shot on the 9th of April. Mm -hmm. uh, we did the Pfizer shot. How did you feel after your first shot? Uh, the first day I was tired. Yeah, I was tired. Very yeah, tired. What else? Your arm? After, yeah, the, the arm hurt. Uh, the arm ached as if somebody punched me in it for a couple of times. Yeah. And um, and every other day or days after, I was coming down with, you know, uh, chest pains. Wow. Not bad, but they were a little, I had some chest pains, sore throat. I was tired. I was very tired. Excuse me. I was and tired. I just needed to lay down. Mm. I didn't take anything for it, you know, no pain mm. relievers or anything like that. Right, right. It was suggested, uh, a couple of docs suggested not to do that. Yeah, because you want kind of your immune reliever. system to kick in, mm -hmm. and if you are taking a pain reliever, you're interfering with your immune system process of learning about it. Now, we're not medical professionals. No. So you please look that up, but that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's what we did. What it. We, did. we rolled the pain out. Yeah. We let our bodies You know, I watched learn. Dr. Campbell. Campbell's? Is his name Campbell? I think it's Campbell's or Camp Campbell, right? I don't know. I can't it's remember. It's Dr. Campbell. It's Campbell, oh, okay. On YouTube. Yeah. And um, well-known doctor retired mm -hmm. doctor mm -hmm. and he has been um, not only researching but really keeping abreast of all the new technology and new information on um, this pandemic and this virus and um, so I listened to him mm. um, yeah, he's been pretty good yeah he does. You know, he gave us and all the advice on the uh, vitamin Ooh, D. This is starting to get strong. Yeah, it smells. Yeah. Oh, my God. That smells so good. Fragrant. That, that is so good. Very fragrant. Very fragrant. Um, I don't want to get too close to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we got the gloves on so that, you know, it doesn't get in our skin and mm -hmm. and then we rub our eyes or something like that. That's right. And it's, you know, it's sanitary as well. Um, yeah. But other yeah. than that, um, yeah, we got the, that was my reason for, um, for not taking pain relief. Did you have any like second that. thoughts about taking the vaccine? In the very beginning, I just needed to be comfortable with, at first it was, you know, how long has it been going on? Should, should they spend a lot more time in uh, developing a vaccine? Mm -hmm. um, so I had I had some reservations. Yeah, I understand. Um, uh, no, not me. I was ready. Left I arm, know. right arm, light it up. Yeah. I, in fact, I I even wanted to volunteer for some uh, trials. Right. Uh, because it's needed. We need people to volunteer, and so take that one other for the people. Team, huh? Somebody has to take one for the team. That's right. That's right. I am the. Uh, <coughs> I told you. I am the galactic you, you taste taking tester. Deep, deep breaths on this. I'm taking one for the team. But, um, but yeah, I, I feel good. Um, looking forward to the next shot. Um, it didn't neutral. matter. Did it matter to you which which vaccine you were gonna get? I mean, it's not like we had a choice, really. But right. you could have held out if you didn't get the one you wanted. Yeah, I, the only ones that, that were on the market that I saw was um, the three. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pfizer, Moderna, and um, AstraZeneca. Johnson. No, Johnson. And Johnson. Oh, Johnson Johnson. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The only thing AstraZeneca was like. It wasn't approved yet in America. Yet. So, right. you know, got it just like I would the, the flu shot. Yeah, we got some of these seeds out here. And um, heck, I figured I was doing a trial myself. Mm. You know, take take it, you get, but you just don't know how well, it will will affect you. Millions of people had already taken that vaccine I before get that, we did. But I'm still different. Yeah. I'm a different human being. I mean, anything could happen uh, to me. I know exactly what you're saying. So I feel like I was doing a trial myself. But I tell you what, it was like a weight lifted off of our spirit, off of our chest. It was hope that there is an opportunity to survive this thing. Right. Uh, so for me, getting the vaccine was a relief. It's not 100%, nobody ever said it is. The thing about it that uh, they claim it's 100% that you're not gonna die. 
Mm -hmm. So if you get uh, the you virus, get sick. you may get sick, yeah, you might get hospitalized, but the but chances you, are pretty I'm good dying. you're not going to die. And right. that's the whole idea. If, if really nobody was dying from this, this would have just been like a common cold. It would have been like a nuisance. Right. You know, it would have been like, all right, people are sick, nobody's dying. Mm -hmm. But the fact that over 500,000 people died in America alone yeah. is pretty yeah, depressing. It is, exactly. it is very depressing. Yeah. So uh, life is truly for the living. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tell you, uh, we want to live and we want to prosper mm -hmm. uh, and we want to get out there and see the world and meet people like you guys on YouTube Yeah. and just celebrate life, have a great time Absolutely. Uh, and uh, leave a legacy behind. Yes. That's really what we're doing here. Uh, we're leaving a legacy behind. Um, we want to set an example so that the young ones who watch us can say, you know what, yes. if, if these guys can put a YouTube video together and build a YouTube channel yeah. and talk about a lot of crap, <laughs> maybe I can do that. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to go to my mama. Mama, can I do a YouTube video? What's your video going to be about, baby? I'm just going to talk crap. Because on Tip and Trade TV, that's all they do is talk crap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And they cruise too, Mom. So I'm going to need a big allowance <laughs> to go with Tip and Dre and on their next cruise. Them. So <laughs> hook, 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 hook a baby, about, hook a baby up. It's about experience in life. Oh, man, I'm really smelling it. You smell this? I am. That's why I'm, I'm, oh I'm, my I'm gosh. sitting back a little bit. Ooh. Okay, let me take a sip here. Yeah. <laughs> you ready for another one? Oh, that wasn't a sip. That was a gulp. Ooh, yeah. So. Nice. This is looking really good. So that's what you do. You buy these dried peppers. Um, I think we got these at Walmart or Sam's Club. Really cheap. Um, I can't remember. Around New Year's Eve, around the holidays, you see a lot of this because um, uh, it's a tradition to make tamales around Christmas, mm -hmm. Christmas time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, in Mexico and, and even in the we United haven't States. Made some tamales in a while. We haven't made tamales in a while. Uh, but I tell you, I fell in love with making my homemade uh, chili powder. And now I'm looking forward to fermenting this mm -hmm. and liquefying it and turning it into a homemade chili Mexican style hot sauce. Hot sauce. That's what that I'm looking forward really to. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So anything else on your mind? Mm -mm. Nope. No? no, it's all good. We're going to be cruising in December. Yes. Uh, yep. Yeah. And uh, I'm crying here because of the pepper. <laughs> but um, we're just trying to get some more content out there. We want to stay in touch with you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Yes. Thank you for watching our videos and spending time with us. Uh, it means a lot to us. Um, and uh, hopefully we begin to start sharing our travels, our adventures, our tips. Uh, we're going to make mistakes along the way. We're going to learn from our mistakes because mistakes are learning experiences. That's how you learn. That's how you learn. Yeah. Looking good. Looking real good. All right. And I want to thank our daughter, Amber Lamb. She's our producer behind the scenes. Yeah, she don't want to get for the camera right now, but uh, she's she's filming, uh, helping us out here with our studio mm -hmm. and uh, helping me know what it's like to uh, do the YouTube thing. That's right. All right, all right. So, chatting with Tiff and Dre over homemade chili powder. Mm -hmm. I think it's a wrap. Okay. Until next time. Live well. Alright now, see you again. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>